हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ई सी ई अकेडमी बेनिफैक्टर इन दिस क्लास विल बी सींग द डेरीवेशन ऑफ आउटपुट रेसिस्टेंस ऑफ वोल्टेज सीरीज फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर बिफोर गोइंग टू द डेरीवेशन लेट इस क्विकली सी इट्स डायग्राम दिस इज़ द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ ए फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर विच वी हैव अंडरस्टूड इन द लास्ट वीडियो क्लास वी आर हैविंग एन एम्पलीफायर ए ऑफ गेन ए ए फीडबैक नेटवर्क ऑफ रेशियो बीटा टू टेक ए सैम्पल ऑफ आउटपुट वोल्टेज वी आर कनेक्टिंग सैम्पलर एट द आउटपुट ऑफ द एम्पलीफायर and the sampled signal is fed back to the input of the amplifier with the incoming signal is mixed in the mixer at the input of the amplifier this is a block diagram of a feedback amplifier now coming to voltage series feedback amplifier how to select which basic amplifier is to be used for this voltage series the first word tells about the output output means at this output what you are doing sampling what type of sampling is done voltage sampling at the output sampling is done voltage sampling is done if it is voltage sampling we need to do parallel connection at the output so what is the output parameter voltage voltage means v not coming to the second word series series means this is connected at this is about the input side at the input side what we are doing mixing what type of mixing is done series mixing for series mixing what type of connections uh, um, we are doing series connection for voltage sampling parallel series mixing means series connection what is the parameter feedback it will be voltage for series mixing the voltage is vi okay so if you take the ratio of output by input v not by vi it is known as voltage gain so what is voltage gain basic amplifier voltage amplifier so for voltage feedback amplifier you need to take a voltage amplifier of gain av voltage amplifier of gain av a feedback network of ratio beta we are doing sampling at the output side what type of sampling is done voltage sampling voltage sampling is parallel connection so the feedback network is connected to in shunt at the output side rl is the load resistor and what type of mixing is done at the input side series so the feedback network is connected in series with the input side of the amplifier and what type of voltage it is we have for series mixing voltage so we have connected a voltage source vs okay so this is the block diagram this is the topology of the voltage series feedback amplifier source voltage vs plus minus input voltage plus minus vi load resistor across it is a voltage v not and here the output is vf what is vf feedback voltage what is feedback voltage a part of output voltage beta times of v not so now replace this voltage amplifier by its equivalent circuit so this voltage source is placed it will have its equivalent internal resistance rs vs internal resistance is rs source resistance or source resistor of resistance value rs and uh, internal resistor ri plus minus av vi r not this is uh, the voltage amplifier this part and this rl is connected the feedback network of ratio beta how it is connected at the output side voltage so shunt connections at the input side series connection vs vi av vi v not vf now what you have done you have replaced this feedback network what is the feedback network doing it is sending a feedback voltage to the input side so we have replaced this feedback block by connecting a voltage here vf voltage the remaining thing is same the remaining thing is same we have replaced here by a voltage source which i have drawn it here vs vi vf av vi r not rl v not okay so what is uh, vf beta is equal to 
Vf by V0, output by input, Vf by V0. So, Vf will be equal to beta times of output voltage in this way. Now, let us see, uh, I hope you have understood this diagram and up to here, how to draw the equivalent circuit of a voltage series feedback amplifier. Now, let us see, in our previous class we have seen the derivation of Rif, which uh, came as Rif is equal to Ri times of 1 plus beta Av. Rif is the input resistance with feedback, Ri is the input resistance, beta is the feedback ratio, Av is the voltage gain. In this class, we will be seeing how to derive Rof that is the output resistance with feedback. For deriving this output resistance, the three conditions are to be satisfied. First, we need to make the voltage source to be 0 and replace RL, make RL infinity, we have to replace this load resistor by a voltage source which is delivering a current of I to the circuit. Let us draw that circuit now. Vs is 0 means short circuit the voltage source, short circuit the voltage source. So, here this V s is made 0, this is the input circuit which I am drawing and this is V f plus minus and the output circuit what we are measuring here, we are measuring V i plus minus at the output side plus minus A v V i to this output resistance R0 is connected. What you have to do this load resistor RL is to be replaced by a voltage source V which is delivering a current I. Okay? So, what is ROF definition? Output resistance with feedback. So, after doing this arrangement what will be ROF? R as by the Ohm's law V is equal to IR. So, R is equal to V by I. So, what is output voltage? V by I. V by I is the ROF. Okay. Now, write the KVL at output loop. Write the KVL at the output loop. Let us travel, traverse in this direction. you are entering at plus A V V i, A V V i minus V, you are entering at plus, so A V V i and now entering at minus. So, minus V and this voltage drop is how much? I R naught is equal to 0. So, what is I equation now? I is equal to let us take this term to the other side V minus A V V i by R naught. Okay? Now, what is this V i? Look at the input side. Write the K V l at this input loop now. K V l at input loop. you are entering it plus V i and plus V f is equal to 0 implies V i is equal to minus V f. What is V f value? What is feedback voltage? Part of output voltage. How, what is output voltage here now? V. So, it is taking beta times of V. So, V f is equal to beta times of V, which you can substitute here. So, you got V i is equal to minus V f. So, what is, uh, let us write here the equation i is equal to V minus A v V i. What is V i? Minus V f by R naught, which is equal to V minus plus it will become A v. What is V f? It is beta times of V by R naught. So, this is I. 
taking v common i is equal to v 1 plus beta a v by r naught. What is r o f? r o f is equal to v by i. So, write v by i what it will come? v by i it will come now v by i this r naught will go up r naught plus 1 plus beta a v. This is the output resistance of the voltage series feedback amplifier. To derive this output voltage I mean output resistance with feedback you need to make the input 0 V s 0 and remove the load resistor. This is a basic circuit in this you have to do the modification make V s 0 remove this R l and place a voltage source. Make V s 0 that is by short circuiting remove the load resistor and place a voltage source which is delivering a current I and then apply a K V l here and then replace this V i by writing this equation by applying K V l at the input side. So, V i is coming as minus V f and how much is V f? Beta times of output voltage beta times of V. On substituting you will get R o f is equal to R naught plus beta A V. So, what are the two important equations you got for a voltage series feedback amplifier? One is input resistance with feedback R i f is equal to R i times of 1 plus beta A V and R o f is equal to R naught by 1 plus beta A V. Okay, these are the two important derivations of voltage series feedback amplifier. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.